Hi, I am Anna. I come from www.ntvforex.com. U.S. Earnings, Virus Cases, Dollar and Data. Http ntvforex.com News ID 093575-7202908. a.m. Last week U.S. equities registered gains, led by value rather than momentum stocks, with U.S. equities closing higher for a third straight week amid low volumes and declining volatility. However, the SAMP P500 is still marginally lower year-to-date, compared to a 17% gain in the tech-heavy Nasdaq index. In theory this implies more room to catch up for value stocks versus momentum but I wouldn't bank on it. If the surge in virus cases equates to renewed lockdowns, the value stock story will likely fail to gain traction until either the virus curve flattens again or a vaccine is found. Unfortunately COVID-19 infections continue to accelerate, with more than 14 million cases confirmed globally, but mortality rates are likely to be key to the extent that lockdowns intensify. US, Latin America and India are at the forefront, risking another downturn in global activity if lockdowns intensify at a time that concerns about a fiscal cliff in the US have grown. All of this has to put against vaccine hopes, with some success in various trials, but nothing imminent on the horizon. Meanwhile the US dollar USD remains under pressure, continuing its grind lower since the start of this month, with the euro euro capitalizing on USD weakness to extend gains as it targets Eurist 1.15. The USD has maintained its negative relationship with risk, and sentiment for the currency has continued to sour as risk appetite has strengthened. It's hard to see the USD turning around soon, especially given uncertainty about renewed US lockdowns, fiscal cliff and US elections. Over the weekend European Union leaders' discussions over the recovery fund failed to reach a deal though there has been some softening from the frugal four on the issue of grants versus loans. However, After a third day of meetings there was still no agreement on how much of the recovery fund should be distributed via grants versus loans. Despite the lack of agreement EUR continues to remain firm against USD and approaching key resistance around 1.1495. US Q2 earnings remain in focus and this week is particularly busy, with tech earnings under scrutiny including IBM today. Last week banks were the main highlight of the earnings calendar. with US banks reporting a very strong quarter in trading revenues amid heightened market uncertainty and volatility but large loan loss provisions aside from earnings expect more job owning from US officials over China while there is some focus on whether the US will target Chinese banks with sanctions it is still likely that the US administration will avoid measures that will roil markets ahead of US elections on the data and event front Highlights over this week include Australia RBA minutes Tuesday, Eurozone PMIS Friday and policy rate decisions in Hungary Tuesday, Turkey Thursday, South Africa Thursday and Russia Friday. Subscribe our channel to receive the news as soon as possible. Thank you for watching.